I'm Sarah Day. I'm going to show you how to make a chevron bracelet. It's pretty difficult to make, but after a while, it gets super, super easy. So to start it off, we are going to start with six strands. And to cut the strands, you're going to make it about a shoulder length, like this. But I already have mine cut, so make sure it's about a shoulder length. And once you get them all cut to the same length, you're going to tie it up like this. And then take your scissors and cut. So now you have your six strands. So now whenever you want to make the end of the bracelet, you're going to wrap it around two fingers just so you can have enough room for the end of the bracelet like this. So two fingers and just tie two knots. Make sure the knot is super, super tight because if not, then it'll come and just pull right out. So you want enough slack, but also it enough to be really, really tight. So now you're going to take a piece of duct tape and pull about, I don't know, two or three inches, just enough so you can cover the hole that you created. And you're going to tape it to a table, or if you're like sitting in a car or a chair, you can place it on the scissors, and then put them in between your knee, so that's super, super easy for you. Okay, just duct tape it to the table. And now you're gonna try and start a pattern. So, it doesn't matter which colors you have, you just have to make sure they're in the same order. So, I'm gonna do green, black, and white. So, to begin the shot, you're going to make a four. Make a front four, and then go over, under, and pull it tight, then over and under, and pull it tight. You wanna make sure you do this twice, because if not, you will mess up the pattern, and you'll have a little hole in your bracelet. So again, four, over, under, pull, a four, over, under, and pull. So now you're gonna place the string in the middle, and then you're gonna have the same colors on the same side, or the right side, but now you're going to do a backwards four. Start from the outside and work towards the center. So backwards four, over, under, pull, over, under, and pull. Then you're gonna work on to your second strand. Backwards four, over, under, and pull, over, under, and pull. So now you have each of the strands and the designs together. So for the middle, you're going to continue from the right side. So over, under, and pull, over, under, and pull. So that sets up your pattern and your design. So again, we're going to start from the right side, the left side, and do a four, frontwards four. So over, under, and pull, over, under, and pull. Work again over, under, and pull, over, under, and pull. On the right side, work from the outside in. So backwards four, over, under, pull, over, under, and pull. So we just learned how to begin our bracelets. And we're going to take a quick commercial break. So we'll continue whenever we come back. Picture day is one of the most important days of high school. So when your picture turns out like this, you'll want to fix it with Fuzz Be Gone. Fuzz Be Gone can get rid of all your unwanted fuzz. Not only can it get rid of fuzz, it gets rid of pesky pet hair and lint too. Fuzz Be Gone can pick up even the smallest amount off of any surface. Fuzz Be Gone is so small, you can use it on the go. So next picture day or any occasion, use Fuzz Be Gone. All right, 
so we're back and we're just going to continue on. So we're starting from the right side again, backwards four, over, under, and pull, over, under, and pull. I cannot stress this enough. You just go over, then under, and then you pull it really, really tight. And you have to do it twice. Because if you don't do it twice, there's a hole in your pattern and it looks tacky. So again, we're in the middle. All the colors are aligned. So you'll go backwards four, over, under, pull, over, under, and pull. And then again, left side, over, under, and pull, over, under, and pull. Again, over, under, pull, over, under, pull. Just remember, anytime you're on the left side, it'll be a frontwards four, and then on the back side, it'll be a backwards four. So, <laughs> the over, under, pull, over, under, pull, over, under, pull, over, under, and pull. Then again, two strings are in the middle. Continue from the right side with the backwards four, over, under, pull, over, under, and pull. And you can, if you'd like, take um, buttons or any type of like charm and you can incorporate it into your bracelet. But if you mess up, say you tied the wrong string or you tied the string three times, you can take a needle and easily just pop out the knot that you just did like this. And then even though it'll like kind of mess up your strings at the bottom, it's okay. And then you can place it right back. And so again, this will be a backwards four. Don't forget that from the right side. Over, under, pull, okay. And then now I'm going to show you guys how to end your bracelet because this kind of takes a little bit of time. So I'm just going to switch over bracelets. Oops. Okay. There we go. So what you want to do is you're going to tie not tie, twist these two ends like this. Just twist them in your fingers, and then you're gonna twist them around each other. But to make it easier on yourself, tie down the last bit or tape down the last bit so it doesn't continuously twist in your hand and around the table. So just twist, twist, and then twist them around each other. And then you'll easily see that there is a end like this starting to form. And so we'll continue doing this. And if you have any access or excess um, yarn left, you can easily just make a tiny keychain. That's what I like to do with mine. But that's only if you have really like a large amount of yarn. Okay, so there is one end. Oops. This is one end and this is what it's going to look like whenever you're done. So this is what it'll look like. So thank you for joining in on this show and I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.